Picture a crowd the size of a Broncos game at mile high. Now picture a crowd that is three to four times that size. That is how many Coloradans have been waiting for their unemployment benefits since the end of last year. Now picture that same size crowd trying to crush through the online turnstiles of the state's unemployment website when it opens up those benefits tomorrow. Our Marshall Zellinger talked to the head of the state's unemployment system about how this is going to work. We have tested the system and we feel confident that the system will be able to handle that load. Joe Barella is the executive director of the Colorado Department of Labor and Employment. CDLE sent emails to 289,000 people this week, letting them know what steps to take on the state's new MyUI Plus unemployment benefits portal to access money approved by Congress in late December. So picture a population that could fill Broomfield, Eagle and Pueblo counties trying to go online at once. There's a possibility that 289,000 people will not apply. We have people that possibly could have returned to work, moved out of state. You've heard their stories. Negative money, no money for food. I'm down to just a few hundred bucks. I exhausted my money January 10th. Multiple times this week, Barella and Democratic Governor Jared Polis have responded with, well, in the end, you're gonna get your back pay and be made whole. My team ha has not had a day off. We work tirelessly trying to get the program up and, and functional. I know that doesn't sound or it, it doesn't help people who had rent due on February 1st or February 15th, but you know we are doing everything we can with the limitations we have to get money into people's pocket pockets as quickly as possible. Part of the delay was Congress not approving new benefits until the week the old benefits expired back in December. Another part of the delay was creating computer code to program those new benefits into the new MyUI Plus portal. We had to put in identity verification measures before we release benefits. We had to verify that people weren't eligible not only in Colorado but in other states for benefits before they could apply for these federal extensions. And just as we told you yesterday, the State Unemployment Benefits Office is preparing Coloradans for another gap in payments if Congress does not act long before these benefits expire on March 13th. My latest intelligence from Washington is that the Senate will not take up if a bill gets to them until March 14th. Guess what? The program expired and we're going to be in the same thing. There's going to be a halt to benefits because of the lack of inaction at the national level. Here's why there could be another delay. If Congress creates new unemployment benefits, Colorado will have to wait for rules from the Department of Labor and then type in new computer code to program those rules. If Congress simply extends the benefits that are in existence right now, same thing just for a longer period of time, there shouldn't be much of a gap. CDLE wanted to upgrade this system that's caused some of the problems back in April, but Kyle, because of the pandemic, that got put off and it got put off three more times over the year until it couldn't be put off anymore. So, Marshall, somebody goes in tomorrow to get their money. When will they actually get the cash? It won't be in the bank account as soon as they hit enter. I'm told, think of it like a Venmo transaction. If you've got a good bank, you might see it in your account perhaps by Monday, Tuesday at the latest. And I'm sure we're going to get emails from people who on Wednesday were like, I was at the website on Saturday and I still don't have it yet. All right, well, we'll keep listening. We'll keep working it out. Tomorrow's a positive step. Thank you, Marshall.